Welcome back, citizens. At the end of each lesson in this course, we tell you to vote, debate, and participate. But we have never discussed what that really means. All are part of being a good citizen. But there's a lot more to it than that. Let's discuss in detail today exactly what is required and sometimes asked of citizens. Our objectives today are to describe four duties that are required of U.S. citizens and describe four responsibilities that are performed by U.S. citizens. While we're at it, we'll summarize the meaning of vote, debate, and participate. Perhaps you're wondering, what's the difference between a duty and a responsibility? Let's start with a duty which is something that a citizen must do. In other words, if you don't meet this requirement, there are consequences, such as fines or possibly jail. Can you think of some duties of U.S. citizens? Pause here for a moment to record some in the lesson PDF. The predominant duty for citizens is paying taxes, something that you are familiar with from previous lessons. You probably remember that taxes are collected at the federal, state, and local levels, all for the purpose of providing government services. This means that citizens are generally required by law to pay taxes at all three levels. Citizens are also required to show up for jury duty if summoned by the court. To clarify, citizens are notified by the court system if they may be needed to serve on a jury appearing when summoned is mandatory, not optional. Being summoned doesn't guarantee you will serve on a jury, but you must show up as part of the pool of potential jurors to fulfill your duty to the courts. Citizens may be excused from jury duty if a hardship exists or if there is a conflict of interest between the juror and someone involved in the trial. Speaking of trials, Citizens sometimes serve as witnesses when called to court. As mentioned in the Sixth Amendment, witnesses are an integral part of our justice system. A court could send a summons for a citizen to serve as a witness, which is someone who has information regarding a crime or a civil case. Guys, pay special attention to this one. When you turn 18, all males must register for the Selective Service. It's the law. The Selective Service is another name for the military draft, which is used in case of a shortage of troops in a war. Although it's required that young men register, the draft has not been used since the end of the Vietnam conflict in 1973. One more duty is to obey laws. I mean, they're not suggestions, they're laws, right? That means they are rules put in place by each level of government. Laws are designed to keep people safe, help citizens, and ensure rights for all. Part of obeying the law is to respect others and their rights and property, even if you disagree with them. Just as a duty is something that a citizen must do, a responsibility is a task that a citizen can or should do. That means responsibilities are voluntary actions. There is no law saying you have to do it, and no penalty if you don't. But many good citizens volunteer to do these things. Can you think of some responsibilities of U.S. citizens? Pause here for a moment to record your answers in the lesson PDF. The first responsibility for citizens is voting, which you probably know is also a right. Of course, you first must register to vote, and you can do so when you turn 18. Contact your local government to ask how. It's easy, and you can probably do it online. When people think of voting, they often visualize federal elections, such as those for President, the Senate, and the House of Representatives. But it also includes elections for state offices such as governor, the state legislature, and in many states, judges at various levels. 
citizens also get the opportunity to vote in city and county elections, including those for executive leaders, members of lawmaking bodies such as city council or county commission, and more. Local elections include offices such as county sheriff, prosecuting attorney, county clerks, school boards, possibly even animal control warden. Many citizens join the U.S. Armed Forces, taking responsibility for defending our nation and much of the world. While this responsibility is obviously not for everyone, it offers many options for those interested in serving their country. Like voting, the following responsibilities are actions that any citizen is capable of doing. It all comes down to choice. The first is to stay informed about the government. This means keeping up with current events of the federal, state, county, and city governments, as well as understanding the processes involved at each level. In particular, pay attention to your local governments. News and events regarding your community will often affect your life more than events in the state capitol or Washington, D.C and those generally get more attention from the media. Speaking of your community, another responsibility is volunteer work. Many people donate time to a cause of their choosing, hoping to improve their community by giving back themselves. Volunteering is part of contributing to the common good, a broad term that is different for each person. Basically, it just means to be the best person you can be and help build the kind of community you want to live in. Part of that is completing an education. While most states require students to attend school through at least the age of 16, graduating high school greatly enhances an individual's future prospects for both jobs and higher education. Another responsibility performed by some individuals is to take part in political campaigns. Some citizens feel strongly enough about a candidate, an issue, or a political party to volunteer. Finally. Speak up. Communicate with government officials at all levels, but especially locally. Citizens can have an influence on government, but it's especially true at the county and city levels. When something needs to be addressed, have the courage to take action, to contact leaders and lawmakers, to petition, to speak up. Who knows? You may even want to run for office yourself one day. Part of being a good citizen is carrying out the duties and responsibilities discussed today. Duties such as paying taxes and obeying laws are mandatory and necessary for the government to function smoothly. While responsibilities such as voting and staying informed about all levels of government are instrumental for our society to flourish. To be a super citizen we have three recommendations. First, register to vote when you turn 18. Then stay informed about the candidates and issues for each office at each level, federal, state, county, and city. And at each opportunity, vote in every election. Next, speak up. Communicate with government officials as needed. Create a petition or attend an assembly or protest. Don't be afraid to debate. Finally, be an active citizen. Contribute to the common good. Take part in the court system if summoned. Complete your education. Stay informed about the government and other issues. Pay taxes. Obey laws. Vote. Register for the selective service when you turn 18. In all things related to the government, participate. That is why we say vote, debate, and participate at the end of each lesson, young citizens. And of course, remember to always be clever.